Hey tribe, welcome back to my channel. So as you see, setup is different, the sound is different, everything is different. I'm currently on holiday and I do not have all my tools with me here, but I still wanted to do a reading for you guys. So today we're going to be talking about blessings and what I want you guys to keep in mind. Whatever pile you will choose, one, two, three, or four, whatever blessing that will be, remember that that's within your reach and just meet the universe halfway. We don't have any objects as I don't have any setup today. I can't show you the cards. I'm just filling myself on my laptop. I hope the sound is going to be not too bad. I'll try to edit it out. And think of a number, the one that stands out to you the most. Maybe you kept seeing one of these numbers lately. Maybe you've been drawn to a couple of them. Check both piles out. And I'm going to see in timestamps. number one people so let's check energy wise we're gonna use Rebecca Campbell's deck let's check energy wise what can you expect as a part of a blessing what is going on with pile number one in the future okay nice I like this card for you it says you are not alone isolation physical connection community I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these cards before on my channel and other people's channels what I'm picking up from this right away, those who felt like maybe you had to either put walls up with people or you felt a little bit lonely or you had to spend time in solitude yourself, that's something maybe that you've chosen. I'm seeing very strong connections that you are making or maybe bonds that you are building with people who might be new in your life or who are already around you. You There is like a, a very good sense of secure caring community so if that's something that you're liking right now this is definitely coming in particularly um one connection standing out to me here the most intuitively let's check on this energy i'm gonna use the dreams of gaia tarot let's check what is this about this is all about connections for you and building strong meaningful relationships <laughs> this is lovely okay I really really do love this card this is dreams of Gaia deck it seems like both people will be learning from one another that's what I'm picking up here it's almost like the book that this person is reading I'm seeing that book as someone else so either you're very interested in someone's story or someone is very interested in yours there might be a connection here for you with books in general and might be this might be something personal to you guys but so what stands out to me here the most as well i'm looking at that dragon behind this guy just above um and i'm seeing this dragon as a spirit you're being guided spiritually to learn about someone or someone is keen about learning from you now this can be any type of connection really i'm not very focusing on romance only let's dive a little bit deeper let me switch decks i want this one what will this connection bring okay wow we have <laughs> lavender the true statement is i ask for what i need maybe you guys are working on that spiritually i'm not sure maybe just thinking about what kind of people you want to surround yourself with all you need to know that there is going to be people who will bring a lot of value coming into your life it says from a place of love you need to stand up and speak your truth what you wish for is what the universe wishes for you yeah it seems like you're working with universe god whatever you believe in and you see the trigger statement above right here it says no one understands me maybe you felt like this for some time maybe you're building really good friendships here you need to remember that you are not alone especially since we're checking on future energies you are bringing more people in who either are on similar path, they have the same morals, the same views and values. I keep wanting to say for pile number one, you're not alone. There are a lot of people like you. All you need to do is to get yourself out there a little bit more, especially to do things that you love. A little bit like this guy over here, wondering, you know, what this book shows me. It's saying, keep on learning and keep on focusing on things that you like because that's how you're going to be attracting more and more people who are similar to you. Um, there's a surprise factor here for me in this pile. So 
whoever you might be thinking about. I wouldn't be surprised if that was completely someone new or different who will want to learn from you or you from them. We have Pink Pepper. It's true statement says we are all special, right? And it says allow your inner critic to be silenced as you find the perfection in yourself and those around you. Seems like you're giving yourself so much more love, pile number one, and that's how you're going to be attracting people who will be building up on that love for you. This is wonderful. I love this. Okay, let's pull a couple of cards from the Super Lunaris deck. What is the blessing, pile number one? What is the blessing, pile one? Let's see what we have. We have the Five of Cups. Seems like the sorrows or disappointments are being washed away. We have the Page of Cups. There is a lot to do with your emotions here. And again, you know, pages are curious. Pages can be children or messengers. Here in this card, she's super curious about this fish in the cup she's like whoa look what i found so maybe before you were at this state like this kind of like oh you know i'm waiting for something i don't know what or i have been disappointed in the past i don't know what to do maybe i feel lonely right we talked about loneliness here and then suddenly something comes up or someone comes up in your life right where you're like whoa i really find this interesting let me dive deeper and let me get to know you a little bit more okay let's continue Let's see what else. File number one. You have the Queen of Pentacles. Let me clarify her. Especially in this deck. This Queen of Pentacles. She's very proud of herself. How much she has achieved. And look how she's dressed. She seems like she's full in her power. And she knows how much she has to offer. And that's what kind of energy you are stepping into, especially those who have lost it maybe for some time. What else we have here? We have the Knight of Cups coming up. See? There's some type of um, emotional offer coming through here. And we have the Ten of Wands here. The Ten of Wands flipped and came out reversed and I felt it reversed. It seems like someone's going to be helping you out with any problems, any issues, any maybe emotions that you have that you we're repressing for some time what i'm paying attention to here the most is that little heart over here she's walking towards love you see what i mean so someone is gonna almost like i want to say help you with your responsibilities there is help a lot of help available guys but it seems like i keep wanting to open my arms and say okay i'm taking all of this in because i feel like for some of you you have been a little bit closed off and now there is going to be a time where um, it's almost like a switch I'm seeing. This is to do with your emotions. I used to feel bad, I used to feel low, maybe emotionally or energy-wise, and now this switch has flipped. And now I'm able to see what I wasn't doing for myself and why certain things were held back away from me. Because what you're doing first, you're first starting to be much more curious. you switching it up for yourself and then you're attracting so much more. Let's see what this Knight of Cups will bring for you. What will this Knight of Cups bring for you? What will this Knight of Cups bring for you? You have the sun. Someone is going to bring your inner child out. Someone's going to make you feel very happy, very fulfilled, very curious. And you'll want to explore and play a little bit more. So once you're going to take that first step of you recognizing what has been keeping you in, but it feels like for a lot of you, you have been in that lack, emotional lack, I want to say, for some time and you're just going to have enough. Or if you are not that bad, um, you kept wondering what else the world has to offer. And once you've taken that first step, Everything falls into places. There's a lot of happiness coming in here. I like that. Okay, let's see what else this Knight of Cups will bring for you. What is going on? You have the Queen of Swords. 
Mm -hmm. There was something to do with throat chakra. I think we had that statement before about speaking your truth. Yeah, it said from a place of love, you need to stand up and speak your truth. From the place of love. So this person might help you out when it comes to communication or um, expressing yourself a little bit more if that's something that you've been struggling with. You have the three of wands. It's almost like um, there was a new hope for a different future here. And you have the four of wands. This might be related to your home environment. This might be related to you feeling more like home wherever you're at or with whoever you are going to be with. This person definitely has this energy of them where they can make you feel like home anywhere. And especially if you've been in solitude or if you felt like you haven't explored new connections, there is someone coming in here and making you see all of the things that are great about you. This is very sweet. This is a very sweet reading here for you guys. Um, regardless of what kind of connection this is, let's see what else. What else about this? What can you expect? What kind of energy will you be in after this happens? What kind of energy will you be in? Okay, two cards want to come out. Let's take both. You have the nine of fire and you have the three of earth. <laughs> you're becoming much more patient with yourself that's what I'm seeing here and especially in this representation of nine of fire here it seems like someone is becoming much more open maybe your root chakra maybe your heart space as well definitely someone had walls up and someone is going to be breaking those walls without realizing that they did that you're becoming much more patient and you will want to work with people or collaborate with people or talk to people a little bit more. So if there was, again, a time of isolation, it's coming to an end. And it seems like one connection will trigger something in you where you're going to feel like, wow, there is so much I can explore. There is so much that I can do. There's still so much for me to see, right? So you are being recharged somehow. Let's see how you're going to be feeling energy-wise after this takes place. <laughs> Lovely. It says, forge, don't follow. Pave a new path. Be the leader you wish you had. I'm telling you, this person is bringing out a trait in you that you have. And you will be quite grateful about it. It's not about them fixing you. It's about them coming at the right time, the right place where you were already thinking about this move towards the leadership or you were thinking about improving your leadership skills or paving a completely new path for yourself in life and there is going to be a connection in between this new path and your past self that is going to almost like escalate everything for you so i do hope that pile number one this made sense this is quite an interesting story let me know if this has happened already and i'll catch you in the next one bye for now Okay, pile number two. So we're going to start with Rebecca Campbell's deck and see how you're going to be feeling around the time this lesson takes place. <clears throat> okay. So what you have is Lost Lands. It says, soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. Straight away what I'm thinking of when I'm seeing this card, it seems like you... This is a very soulful reading straight away. It seems like you are discovering a pattern of some sort. Something that you came here to learn, I want to say. Definitely something that you came here to learn. For a couple of you, this is an ability, a talent of yours that you are discovering. Let's use Tupolinaris Tarot and let's see a little bit more. What is the blessing for pile number two? What is the... Okay... You have the Ten of Pentacles. This is very family or ancestors related. Seems like you're recognizing what, why you have a certain 
um, soul contract, soul connection with one of the people that you would consider your family. This is diving very deep. But for some of you, I feel like there's one more story. We have the four of pent, sorry, four of wands. And we have the three of wands. Okay, let me see. Let me see. A blessing is definitely to do with your family life um, as well as your household. I'm seeing improvements when it comes to your location or how you're feeling where you're at now. You are seeing your future a little bit differently. You're seeing what you can create for yourself and you're feeling really abundant here which is very nice. You have the Two of Cups. This is a beautiful card. I want to say wherever you're going, would it be physically, would it be emotionally, you are recognizing who you are. What you came here to do, who you are, what is your mission, what you can leave as a person for the future generations to come. This is a deep reading. Um, I'm getting the messages about a place where there is a lot of sunshine. It's warm. The landscape is beautiful. It's giving me an old vibe about it. There is a lot of heritage in that place. So maybe you're thinking about the move or you are traveling somewhere like that, which is going to escalate. Um, almost like I want to say spark up your soul. That's what's happening here. Blessing pile number two. You have the seven of swords. Someone is finding out a bit more information about their family. If that was hidden from you, if that's your scenario. You are discovering something here that was invisible for you before. The Page of Pentacles is here and this guy is in the forest and he found a pentacle in the middle of the forest. You're going to explore, definitely. You're going to explore and whilst you're exploring, you're going to find something that you've been looking for. What is it? Let's reduce it a little bit. What is it that you are looking for? We have the Emperor structure. More structure and more power to you. For some of you, this can be related to your boss. We have the Page of Cups. Getting some kind of message or news are coming your way that is going to make you feel empowered. You have the King of Wands. That's your energy for sure at the end of this. You're feeling empowered. You're feeling motivated. You're feeling like there is so much that you can do with this energy. Let's clarify the lost land, soul memories and gifts. We have the Ten of Wands. You are, re you are recognizing and you're realizing why you had to carry so much or why something kept repeating itself. And you're sorting it out for yourself. What is your responsibility? What can you do for yourself? Ten of Cups. This is very family related. This can be a chosen family like friends, friend circle, but there is definitely a lot of happiness coming through when it comes to your relationships with other people. You have the nine of wands. You went through a lot, pile number two, and there is going to be a time when you will be rewarded for that. Someone is recognizing you here, I must say, for a couple of you. There is recognition that you are receiving, especially if you have been aiming for that for some time, you're being recognized for something great that you're going to do for your strength, for your stamina, for a sense of responsibility I'm seeing here. Mm -hmm. Let's pull a message. What is the blessing? We're going to be reading the 
true statement only. What is the blessing? Standing in your power big time here, guys. He's standing in your power big time. We have coriander. It says, true statement, I create my way. And the message is, you are ready to fulfill your desires by thinking outside the box. The path less traveled may be more fulfilling. The trigger statement says, this is the way it has always been done. You're changing things up. What you used to do before, what was continuous, you're changing things up. You've been carrying those 10 of bonds for too long. Now, what do you want to do with them? Okay, for sure. And now, this creation is very connected to King of Wands. I think that's why I said that this, I felt that this is your energy. King of Wands, someone who likes to explore, someone who has a lot of motivation, someone who's super driven. Now, you also had the Three of Wands right here. Right, and in the message it says, um, the path less traveled may be more fulfilling, and that's what you're looking at over here. Let me see, let me check out the path that has been less traveled. For some of you, this is definitely to do with move, improving your home environment, or improving by taking a less traveled journey path, um, you're improving your family life. Let's take a look at the Seven of Swords. I think there is one more story behind this. What is being hidden from you? What are you discovering? What can't you see? Seven of Swords. Let's see. Okay, two cards want to come out. You have the Queen of Wands. And you have the Five of Pentacles. Um, this is quite personal for some of you. You are realizing why someone... Had to be left out why someone didn't have enough maybe care um, why someone had to be on their own or feel like they don't have enough they don't have enough support it can be you your situation where you felt this way or this can be related to a female energy in your life feminine energy in your life what happened what why it had to happen this way this information might be also connected to this person purely. Maybe you're figuring something out about themselves and that's very connected to you. And you're finally seeing the truth behind what has been uncertain for you. Let's see around the time when this blessing... Um, okay, let's rephrase it. After this blessing takes place, how are you feeling energetically? After this blessing takes place, how are you feeling energetically? You have karmic relationships, orient energy, polarity, soul growth, conflict. It seems like you're realizing uh, why something had to happen in your life with a specific person. What kind of connection this was and who you want to become in the future. This is you. Both of these people are you. Okay, One of them is your old self and the other one is your new self. Walking forwards. Um, <laughs> this is a very interesting scenario because it seems like someone has been wondering why me, um, why this person, um, why I have a relationship like this with this person and you're going to get all the answers. But it seems like you are the one who's digging into this and you're wanting to understand why. Okay, after this happens, what can you expect? How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Pile two. You have the two of fire. Seems like you're gaining the energy back here. You're getting another part of yourself that maybe has been wandering around for some time or the part of the energy that has been um, left somewhere else. If you sometimes, you know, when you think about a problem for too long or thinking about someone for too long, you're giving away a lot of your energy for that thing or that person. And it seems like you are taking another Taking the part of yourself or the energy of yours that you have um, left behind, you claiming it back. And every decision that you're going to be making from then on, it will be really clear for you. Okay, two cards want to come up. Let's take both. All right, this is nice. I like that for you. Number eight might be important for some of you here. I read these cards a bit differently. I like to look at the imagery of these cards. It seems like you are becoming a bit more aligned in your headspace, but what I'm also getting, you are becoming a bit more grounded. You are you are wanting to work really hard on your energy. This is a lot to do with your energy field and how you're feeling internally. You Whatever was a bit all over the place for you, 
you understand why you felt like something was happening on the energy field and it's like you don't want to give away that piece anymore and once you don't give away that piece anymore you feel like you have steady foundation beneath your feet mm -hmm. yeah definitely something has been hurting you you see that one sword is upright, the other one's reversed, and that's been hurting you. Um, something to do with your headspace, something that you kept thinking about. We talked about this, right? So it seems like you're going to decide not to do that anymore. And the moment you do this, you're claiming all of the energy back. Um, you're standing a bit more in your power. This is very connected to a, con uh, to a relationship in your life here. Um, you improve in the circle that you are in and you're deciding to leave someone behind that's for sure and you have faith here I love this card take a look at the image of this card you have everything that you need in the future even if things might not seem like they're moving too fast for you but you're moving really steadily and you have everything that you need in your life so that's a nice one pile number two I hope that this made sense Tribe, thank you for coming back love you as always bye for now Okay, pile number three people so let's check what is going on with you we're gonna see how you're gonna be feeling energetically um, just before this blessing will take place okay what is going on pile three okay that card wants to come up maybe you wanted to choose one more pile but not necessarily I'm gonna pull one more for you since it's gonna be a bit of a mixed scenario here I want to show you the cards in a minute. All right. So you start with lost lands. It says soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. Then you have the cosmic heart, devotion, potency, make your life a moving prayer. And then you have We the Hathers, Deep Love, Mother's Milk, Birth as a Portal. Um, this is very heart space related, pile number three. This is all about your heart space. It seems like you are feeling like you have a lot of love to offer. Um, there is fertility involved here. It seems like you are going to feel very cared for. And you care for someone it's vice versa here it see it makes me feel this part makes me feel really cozy um, safe and very clear about what I want to do next there is a lot of support coming through here this might be related to one specific person uh, someone is opening their heart space here for sure let's see what is going down we're using the super lunaris deck what is your blessing, pile number three? What is your blessing? You have the four of wands. There is some kind of celebration that might be taking place. Are you pretty happy about your home life in the future? Your domestic environment. You have the five of swords. Especially if you have been conflicted about that in the past. Someone is deciding to choose peace. We have the Page of Swords, one more. You're learning from some kind of conflict here or something that felt conflicting to you in your head. You're like, what do I do? Where do I go? Is that right for me? You, you'll know exactly where you, where you need to go. And you have Temperance. Yeah, I told you, this. there's a very nice feeling here for pile number three. It feels like I'm, I'm living the most peaceful life. I enjoy where I'm at, I feel cozy, I feel cared for, there is a lot of love around me, there is a lot of appreciation coming through here from other people, pile number three, expect compliments, expect people sending you messages that uh, make your heart warm, and it seems like you're getting back everything that you put out, you know, let's see what is that gonna make you feel like or what is that going to bring we have cardamom it says my thoughts are the cause of my suffering 
Um, and it says, as emotions rise, go within to see what stories and memories are fueling them. Then release what is not serving you with gratitude. The trigger statement is, it's their fault. So you're finding peace with some kind of situation here, maybe a person. And since we talked about the hard space, this might be connected to a relationship in your life. Or maybe for some people, this is you causing yourself a lot of, you know, conflicts in your own head. And you're like, nah, I gotta fix my head. I, had, I have to talk to myself in um, a better manner. I have to be my own best friend. Whatever this is, you're walking into a peaceful life. Much more peaceful life than before as a part of your blessing. We have cinnamon. It says, I can only get, it can only get better. Allow yourself to experience more joy and love. Raise your resonance by swimming in the sweetness of life. For some of you, this uh, the self-sabotaging is going to end because the trigger statement says, this is too good to be true. You fully accepting the good stuff coming your way and whatever, whenever you, you do believe that you deserve every single blessing in your life, more and more of those will knock on your door. Mm -hmm. I want to see some of you are deciding to learn about mental health or something along those lines here. We have black spruce. It says, I am illuminated as you release your attachment to high and low. You find peace and balance. Honor the cycles of your body and energy now. Exactly. So, it seems like you guys have been battling your own self for a while and there's going to be a time when you're going to be like, listen, I do deserve everything. Even if you say, sometimes you think of, oh, it would be amazing if I earn like 10k a month, but deep down in your, in your core, you don't think that this is achievable for you, right? Or um, I want to have this type of family dynamic, but is it really... Is it really possible for me? It seems like you believe in everything good that you deserve. And that's when you're going to be attracting more of more and more of what it is that you've been craving for here. Let's use the dreams of Gaia. Wow, thank you. We have emotion and intellect. Yeah, you you push and pull. You have this energy about you push and pull, right? Uh, and it's said in Black Spruce, as you release your attachment to high and low, right? You find peace and balance. And you have the temperance here as well. So your life is becoming much more balanced because you're deciding to um, recognize when to use your emotions and when to use your intellect. And you're navigating uh, both pretty well here. Let's see what else. You have the mother. <laughs> we talked about this mothering vibe, right? Feeling sweet, feeling cared for. I think for some of you, maybe you are becoming mothers. Or if you are a mother already or a father, um, you're going to have an amazing connection with your children. You, you're becoming much more peaceful. As well as um, if you were lacking patience, you are very in the moment. And you're like, listen, I'm going to take as much time as I need to. I'm not nervous anymore. I'm not feeling chaotic. Even if my household is chaotic, I'm feeling the peace within. And that's something that I portray to everyone else around you. Again, I keep staring at the temperance here, right? And we have the four of wands over here. So you celebrate in your peaceful life. That's part of a blessing. That's something that I'm seeing for you guys here. Let's dig a little bit deeper. Let's see. What is your blessing, pal number three? What is your blessing? You have the lovers. You have the king of swords. You have the king of cups. You're making a decision... Uh, for some of you, this can be a decision between two people. Now, this doesn't have to be only romantic. This can be a decision that you're making between, you know, a couple of offers from two different people or who you want to hang around more with. But it seems like you guys, again, remember how, how there was one card that described 
think I mixed it up. No, I didn't. Um, the emotion and intellect. So look, you have the King of Cups, which is emotion. And you have the King of Swords, which is the intellect, right? So you know how to navigate both. So it, it doesn't seem like you're making a choice between two people for most of you. It seems like you are... Um, finding peace with different traits, different personality traits or mood mood swings that you maybe have been struggling with, um, especially if someone is bipolar, you know, maybe you're finding peace or you're finding um, ways how to deal with it better, you know, uh, something that helps you out more, but this is obviously not for everyone. You are you are a little bit easier on yourself. You're not blaming yourself for feeling certain way. Even if you have like a shit day, you're like, okay, let me take it, you know, one step at a time. It's just a day that I'm having. I'm not going to blame myself. Why? Why I'm feeling this way? I'm not going to feel guilty because that's going to make me feel worse. So you know what I'm saying? This is a very, very much self-focused finding peace with yourself and that's going to reflect on everything else that you're doing in your life you have strength look you're claiming back your power you're feeling on top of the mountain here which i love blessing pile number three you have yeah it's all about mental space nine of swords if you haven't been able to you know if you felt like you were lacking energy, if you couldn't fall asleep, if you had not enough sleep, uh, you're going to get that back. You're going to get your strength back. There is, a, I told you, there is, this pile is all about peace. Feeling grounded, feeling peaceful. But first of all, you're finding a way what helps you out the most. Uh, for a couple of you, this can be escalated. It can, you can be held by someone else in your life. Or advice that you get from someone and you're like, let me try this out and let me see how that goes. And that's when you're being able to, you know, juggle the both, the emotion and the intellect, okay? If it's time to sleep, let me do whatever you want to do, whatever helps you out to make myself um, sleep better. Some of you, I think you are ditching tech an hour before sleep. Maybe you're swapping it with a book. So I hope that this made sense, pile number three. And Tribe, thank you for coming back. Love you as always. I'll catch you soon. Hey, pile number four, people. So let's check what is going to be your energy like just before this lesson takes place. What is going to be happening? You have Forge Don't Follow card, says pave a new path, be the leader you wish you had. You're doing things your way, that's definitely. You are coming up with something quite unique, something that wasn't maybe done before or you're putting your unique twist on it. This can be career. This even I want I want to say this can be even your style for some of you you know what resonates to you a little bit more I feel like there is one more card that wants to come out you yeah this is a lot to do with the path that is very unique to you and maybe not many people have explored it keep on doing things your way pile number four we have perspective it says none of this matters zoom out common ground now zoom out usually i see this card differently but in this case next to forge don't follow it seems like your perspective might be a little bit different on some things like other people's and you're gonna be brave enough to go for it and explore your own way of doing things let's use super lunaris deck let's see what is the blessing I want to say you are your own blessing pile number four so treat yourself as such what is your blessing you have the ten of swords some of you are like really as a blessing don't worry about it what is your blessing pile number four your cards are really stuck you don't want to come out <laughs> maybe some of you are becoming that uh, you putting your hair down that's what i want to say letting your hair loose you know let's see what is the blessing you have the magician 
Mm-hmm. Let's clarify that Ten of Swords here. What is ending as part of the blessing? You have the chariot. It seems like you're going to take a moment for yourself and not rush into some kind of a goal too much. Maybe there was something connected with move or travel. And you're going to decide to switch these plans around or to take it easy. You you switching something around that you've decided. You, hmm, so many different scenarios. I hope this is making sense. Wait, let me pull one more. What is the end thing? You have the Six of Cups. And it seems like what you used to do before, you're going to be doing things a bit differently. Six of Cups is something that you, you know of, something that you used to, or maybe someone could be connected to a person for some of you, but mostly I'm seeing it's... Um, connected to the ways you were living your life or a project that you were focused on, you're switching it around. It's like one chapter is done, the other one is beginning. Let's see how this other chapter as a part of a blessing is going to look like. We have the magician to start with. We have the queen of pentacles. I'm going to show you the cards in a minute. What an energy. You manifest in abundance, that's for sure, especially financial abundance, security. Remember how I said for some of you, um, it might be connected to the way that you look, you being authentic outside. <laughs> look at this queen of pentacles, look how she's dressed, she's like, I know I look good. So that's why I think I was picking it up now. We have the magician, we have the queen of pentacles, and we have the moon. This is very connected to spirituality. It seems like you might discover something in a spiritual practice that's going to work for you, which maybe wasn't explored by other people as much or not many people talk about it. Now, something connected to your dreams here as well. I think your, your one of your dreams have told you about it or gave you a hint that this is going to happen. What is the blessing? You have the Five of Pentacles, definitely walking away from something, you're leaving something behind. And that's something that maybe you were fed up with or it was boring for you, didn't see any, any more fruit growing from it. And you have the Nine of Pentacles. This is very um, independent. The vibe you have is very independent. Definitely, if you have your own business, expect it to bloom. Expect it to bloom, but before you do, before this happens, you gotta sacrifice something. It seems like here you will choose to sacrifice something, right? You're gonna be like, mm, I'm not sure about that. Let me put this on the side and let me see how this new thing goes, or how this strategy that I have or idea that I have will go. You have the nine of swords. Maybe it's connected to someone's mental health here or someone's, again, dreams are coming up here. Uh, maybe you're digging into subconscious. Yeah, maybe that's part of it. You have the lovers. What is that about, please? The four of wands. You're making a choice about either your home environment or the celebration. You have to make up your mind. What do you choose? What do you choose? Okay, one card literally flew. And the six of wands is here. You're very visible for a lot of people. So it can be on social media. It can be in your circle. But you definitely have a lot of people reaching out for you. And they're like, okay, I need, I need what you have to offer. And you're like... I know I have it good because I took some time to see what it is that I want to do, my authenticity, my spiritual authenticity, I want to say, and it took me a while to build what I have now, and it seems like you're holding some kind of treasure in your hands, and you know that whatever you are holding is going to be pretty good and bring you a lot of abundance in the future, and I think maybe that's why there's going to be some kind of celebration connected to this. You, <laughs> I'd say expect, um, okay, pile number four, you feel like you are the people who like to dig deep. 
and digging deep and doing things from your heart, your authenticity is going to bring you a lot of happiness and abundance in your life. I keep hearing it. Be authentic. Don't do things by the book. Do things from your heart. Remember, your soul is very experienced. Connect to your higher self and explore what you have to offer to the world. Maybe some of you are going to be interested in Akashic Records. We have the Seven of Pentacles. I told you there was something that took you some time to build or you're still building it. And you're like, I'm going to be patient this time. Let me see how it goes. Then you have the Queen of Wands. Definitely your passion is going to bring you a lot of security and abundance. You're feeling yourself. You're feeling good. You have the Ten of Pentacles. I don't know why you're even watching this. You know that you're going to make it. And I think for a lot of you, you made it already. And you can expect much more to come. Okay? You live in something as heritage for generations to come. And I think there was a similar message for one more pile. Um, you are pretty happy about the home that you are building in the future. Or at least where you live and who you live with. There is a sense of strong community here. Yeah, and as I said that, we have the Three of Cups. Strong friendships are being built, and people around you that you surround yourself with are going to bring even uh, more happiness in your life, quality time, quality relationships, people that you can fully trust, people that you can have fun with, and you can also talk about business with. These are the people that lift each other up, okay? That's for sure. And it seems like this is happening pretty soon for you. There's also a message that some of you might be receiving from someone here that's going to make you happy. Um, it might be to do with collaboration or someone that has a similar, works in a similar field or interested in the same things. We have the five of swords here. It seems like these two people, you and them, are going to be sorting out some kind of dilemma. And the Wheel of Fortune is here. And whatever this is that you're talking about or you're receiving mess, whoever you're receiving a message from, seems like it's going to turn things around for you and for them. And you have Justice. This is a definitely like a guided connection here that I'm seeing. Something that was meant to be. You're meant to meet this person. We have the world come up. We have the star come up and we have the sun. Okay, guys, honestly, so wow, we were. It seems like everything is just happening very fast. There's a lot of happiness. Brace yourself. Spell them before. I'd say brace yourself. Let's pull one card from, or maybe a couple from the, I forgot how it's called. Someone must know this deck. Something to do with oils, I believe. Essential oil oracle cards. It was just on the back. How smart of me. Okay, let's pull a message. See how you're feeling once this is taking place or extra message. Um, it says cleansing. True statement. I see things in a new way. And the message is, as you release external influences and energy, you will become clear with regard to what is needed. Trigger statement is, their opinion matters to me. Yeah, again, coming back to authenticity. You gotta be fully yourself. You know, people who vibe with your truth, they will find you. Don't be afraid to talk about things that you want to talk about, even if... They are not discussed that much. One more. We have Kopaiba. A true statement says, I am cherished. And the message says, there are connections to ancestral and childhood memories that are ready to be healed. Allow divine light to shine within. Um, worthy. And, I mean, you know about this already, right? I, t I showed you the Six of Wands in my deck. There is a lot of people wanting what you have to offer. And for some of you, this might be the work that you are doing, connected to childhood memories or traumas maybe, or ancestral um, patterns. Maybe you're healing an ancestral 
uh, wounds of some sorts but overall you are being cherished and you're being purified by something that it is that you are doing yourself pile number four not three pile number four i hope this made sense awesome reading thank you for watching i'll catch you soon